<laughs> hello, hello. What's going on, Jama Dog Gang? Welcome back to episode two of Life is Dramatic with Dramatic Key, the podcast. Okay, so y'all, I finally figured out the name. Um, the video, not even the video, the first initial episode that I made, I didn't have a name of what I was going to call this or how I was going to base it. I just know I wanted to talk to y'all and have some daily content without me actually having to be on camera, okay? Um, I just went out to Best Buy and I bought me a microphone, so I'm really hoping that this microphone is going to give y'all some good audio. I just want to test something out really quick. We're going to do a little bit of Okay, just to see if this mic is really working, okay? <laughs> I wish y'all can see my face right now. Um, I hope y'all like episode one so far. Again, it was the first episode, so it was kind of all over the place. Didn't really know what I wanted to talk about, but I wanted to get some stuff off my chest today you know I thought I had a topic that I wanted to speak on but I think I'm gonna just go with the flow of what I'm feeling and what I wanted to talk about right now I feel like it ain't even gonna hit me the same so we're gonna go ahead and switch this over and we're gonna get into a little bit of we're going to talk about why is everybody trying to become the hottest topic on social media? Like, what is it to be an influencer to you? How do y'all feel about this whole influencer situation on life? Like, um, and I'm sorry about my phone vibrating and stuff. Y'all know I'm trying to get my shit together over here. This is new. <laughs> this is new. Um, But seriously, though, like, I feel like... In today's society, there's so much pressure to become the next hot thing, the next trending topic. Like, everybody want to get posted on the shade room. Everybody want to become an influencer. Everybody want to be a YouTuber. Everybody want to do this and that. And honestly, I'm not mad because there's a lot of money out there in becoming known. You know how they used to tell you, like, it's not what you know, it's who you know. It's a lot that that comes with becoming the who you know person. And when you are that it person, it's like shit just kind of falling in line for you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if y'all know this, but y'all know I've been doing YouTube for a very long time. When I started out my very first video, if you go all the way down to my page, it was a City Trends clothing haul, okay? I wasn't sure where I wanted to take my channel exactly. I just know um, I started getting into makeup a lot. I was in cosmetology school around that time. Like it's a, <sighs> there's so much that I was getting into. Maybe I should have some water by me while I'm doing this. Cause talking a lot, baby. <laughs> Hold on. Do a little bit more ASMR for y'all. Drinking me some good old dragon fruit vitamin water. If you know, you know. But, um, I've been doing this for quite some time. And I have learned a lot on my YouTube journey so far. I've learned that, well, we're just going to call this my social media journey. Because YouTube is social media at this point. Um, when you're trying to get into this field, y'all, it's... <laughs> this shit is so overbearing it's a lot okay it's hard to keep up with the who's who because it's like if you're not on social media selling your ass or talking about selling your ass or showing your ass it's hard to become about you know and it's like who can compete with that <laughs> you know i always question like why do so many girls get their body done like why the hell is everybody trying to look the same and it's that and the third? And it's really because when they say sex sell, they mean it. Even if you ain't selling sex, the thought of you selling it is going to sell, okay? And 
it's like that's not the only way you can get ahead in life honestly i'm learning too that just being authentically you and people people will gravitate towards that people will gravitate when they feel like you're being um you know yourself i don't care if you feel like you weird crazy if you get on social media popping your shit every day you know what i'm saying they're gonna gravitate towards that because that's you that's what that's what you're giving the people they're gonna learn to love you and accept you for who you are and you know they're gonna eventually jump on your wave so right now me personally i'm just like i know which direction i want to go in in my life and i'm still doing a lot of the same stuff i was doing before y'all know i still have my business um and it's like i'm i'm kind of done with trying to grow my my instagram i feel like instagram that shit is hard you know what i keep thinking about i think about the times when we were just getting on instagram and everybody was doing the follow for follow and this that and the third and i used to look at everybody like you just that's y'all doing too much for me <laughs> like you got to do too much of reposting each other page just for somebody to follow you and this that and the third i didn't want to do that i didn't i never wanted to go along with the crowd i always wanted to stray off and do my own thing but if i knew it then what I know now, I would have jumped my ass on that wave back then when everybody else was doing it. You know why? Because a lot of those people that were doing that and, you know, doing all of the little trending things when we were in like middle school, high school, their pages are big now <laughs> and numbers do sales. Okay. Yes, they do. Um, life is like a numbers game where you're jumping into anything when you're trying to sell something online, when you're trying to, um, get gain a certain audience online and, and make videos pop is about numbers okay numbers 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 but you know outside of that this is it's been a fun journey it's very bittersweet um <laughs> let me tell y'all how my tiktok started blowing up okay um y'all know that little kevin gates sound the Beat being over, stand up on your toes, lock your knees back, baby, breathe through your nose. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> so, why I made a video on some crazy stuff, that video has like 23 point, 23 or 27 point something K views and like a thousand or something like that likes. Y'all, my freaking TikTok went from 120 something followers to like, I'm at a little over 2,000 followers in like a couple of days. Really, it went from that to 1,000 in like 24 hours. Um, I said, man, <laughs> like, now there's a whole bunch of niggas and shit on my damn TikTok, and I was not expecting it to blow up that way. But I'm like, you know what? Everybody kept commenting like, oh, can you do this again and do that again? Y'all know they say when the pot is hot, you better keep going, okay? Because you never know when your last opportunity is going to be something or what is going to help you blow up. So I'm like, hey, if I got to be a twerker for TikTok, baby, <laughs> that's what we're going to do, okay? I'm like, wait, um, 8,000 followers away from getting monetized on tiktok that is another stream of income honey and right now i am trying to be in my creative bag and be more consistent i promise y'all like that's that's the goal that's what we're gonna be doing okay really quick too um because i was talking to one of my subscribers last night and um i posted like a little small snippet of my episode one with my instagram story and while i was sharing she was like you know i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna check it out and so if you're new to my page or if you're old to my page you'll know that i was doing live streams on monday we was doing the whole motivational monday thing and honestly i really really liked doing that um so Life is Dramatic with Dramatic Key is going to be kind of like a spinoff from my Motivational Mondays. I wanted to do motivational motivational something on my channel all the time. But then, y'all know, I also had the Makeup and Girl Talk videos while I did my makeup. But I'm learning that 
when it comes to doing my makeup i like to just beat my face speed up my videos and maybe talk a little bit throughout it but just let y'all see what i'm doing because i like to keep those videos short when i start talking and doing my makeup you never know where that may go or how long it might take a x y and z so this is kind of going to be like that but it's going to well a mixture of both of those but we're going to be talking about a little bit of everything i'm just going to be on here you know just basically giving y'all my daily spill on what's going on with me and keeping y'all updated on a lot of stuff um you know as i continue to go along with this i'll get a little bit more organized with like the topics and really having stuff that i want to talk about on a like everyday basis and i think i want to make this like an everyday thing like especially if i'm not making the videos too long and i don't have to record myself and make sure i look good there's no excuse for me to not post a, a new episode of my podcast every single day so go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know that y'all are rocking with this podcast um version right now this is the episode two we still kind of in our little introduction phase um oh uh, yes we get further along i'll get a little bit more you know comfortable things will start flowing through me and like i said i'm gonna try to start right now some good topics but if y'all have some topics that y'all want me to talk about as well let me know in the comment section down below but um episode two is now coming to an end i appreciate y'all for rocking with me and again this is life is dramatic with dramatic key stay tuned for another video peace